Newark, New Jersey's pro-sodomy bishop, Cardinal Joseph Tobin, permits a so-called Pride Mass to occur annually in the Archdiocese. According to a promotional flyer, the event supports so-called LGBTQ brothers and sisters. Church Militant's William Mahoney has more on this year's pro-gay event and other events like it, possibly in a parish near you. Discrimination has no place in the church as it is being eradicated in society. Named in honor of the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Grace in Hoboken, New Jersey, is now known better for its controversial Pride Mass than for the Blessed Virgin. Slated for the end of this month, this year's so-called Pride Mass is the parish's fourth, the first one being held in 2018. That first year, Father Alexander Santora, the pastor, preached in his homily, one's orientation is given, it's not a choice, and so oppressing one's orientation is not healthy or good, but somehow our theology has to catch up with where the world is. And Santora is not a lone wolf. Just across the Hudson River in Midtown Manhattan, St. Paul the Apostle Church is prepping for its so-called Pride Mass on the Feast of St. John the Baptist, June 24th. Run by the Paulist Fathers with Father Rick Walsh as the pastor, the church also has a gay-friendly Mass every Sunday evening. As he does, his friend Antonius, played by Tony Curtis. Other pro-gay churches in New York City include St. Francis of Assisi in Midtown, St. Ignatius Loyola on the Upper East Side, and St. Francis Xavier in Chelsea. Parishioners from some of these churches also march each June in the Pride Parade. All this goes on under New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan, who in 2014, serving as Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, formally allowed for the first time a homosexual group to march in the parade. Good to be with you all. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Do you have a Jehovah 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 Jehovah